Hey, what's going on everybody? Dog trainer, behavior technician, Drayton Michaels here to talk to you about the don't lick cue. The don't lick cue is incredibly important. It can keep your dog healthy, avoid illness, or even death. You practice the don't lick cue out on leash walks. Here's the thing, you have to make sure you're paying attention. You have to watch your dog's snout. That's rule number one. You have to look where your dog is gathering scent. Watch them gathering scent. And every few seconds say, don't lick. Boop. That oops is a warning cue Boop. that if they don't do lick, lick you're going to pull them gently away from the scent Too bad. and time them out and not allow them to gather any scent for five to 10 seconds. As soon as you go back to gathering scent with your dog, you ask, don't lick. Boop. Remember, that oops is your warning cue letting the dog know if you lick, you're gonna be timed out from gathering scent. In today's world, out on a dog walk, there's all kinds of potential hazards. You've got animal droppings, trash, People might leave marijuana or other harmful substances on the ground and you don't want your dog to lick any of that stuff because it could mean they are going to become sick or possibly die. The don't lick cue is very intensive to train. You have to keep going once you start. It can't be something you do once in a while. So you really have to pay attention and make sure that you're getting the cue and the warning in there. Remember, when your dog is gathering scent, say don't lick. Boop. Give them that warning cue that if you lick, you're gonna be timed out from gathering scent. Let's take a look at some footage of training the don't lick cue with a dog named Ralphie. Don't lick, Boop. don't lick, Boop. Boop. don't lick. Don't lick. Boop. Don't lick. Boop. Don't lick. Boop. Too bad. Okay. When your dog is gathering scent, look for these little clues. Number one, watch the sides of their mouth. If they start to puff out or flare a little bit, a lick may be coming. Also, watch for the duration of the scent gathering and look for their nose to be stuck on one particular area. If they keep moving, it's not so much of an issue, but if they're focused on one area, you're definitely gonna wanna implement the don't lick cue and the oops warning cue. The other thing you'll notice is your dog may not lick the surfaces as much, but they will lick their nose after they gather a scent. Of course, I'm gonna let this go, and they're still getting the licking of the scent, but it's off their nose, so it's not that intense. Remember, the don't lick cue is implemented for safety so your dog doesn't get sick or worse and possibly die from licking something off the ground. I've been working with Ralphie for nine years and I started training the don't lick cue with him right away in his adolescence. I'd say I've gotten probably about a 99.8% success rate. It's gonna happen, your dog's gonna lick something, they are quick, there are really novel scents that might motivate your dog to lick them, but if you pay attention, if you implement the cue, if you implement the warning sound, you're gonna have really good results. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and pass this information on to somebody who might need it.